Hi, this is Bob from US Air Filtration, and today I'm going to show you how to rebuild your solenoid in your dust collector pulse valves using a solenoid repair kit. Dust collector valves come in two, lots of different shapes and sizes, but two varieties as far as a solenoid. Ones that have the solenoid integral to the pulse valve like this, and ones that don't. This one would have an air tube coming out of the top that would take it to a solenoid box that would look like this. When we open up this solenoid box, you'll see that the coil of solenoids inside here. Changing out the repair kit, whether you're doing it on the valve or inside a solenoid box, is very similar. So let's begin by taking off the coil. Um, I might mention that when you start changing out the solenoid repair kit, two things you want to do, you want to turn off the compressed air coming to the valves, and you want to make sure that you've turned off the power. An easy way to do that is simply remove the fuse from your uh, timer control panel. Okay, so there's a little clip on the top and I just lift it with a screwdriver and it slides right off. And I can pull the coil off, which exposes the solenoid post. And this is the part that we're gonna be replacing today. Uh, if you have one in a box, it looks very similar. And just to show you, I'll pull the clip off and this coil comes off. And again, the solenoid post is exposed. And so whether you're doing it on here or here, the process would be very much the same. Okay. Inside our solenoid repair kit, there's lots of parts. These kits come with probably more parts than you need because they're made to be somewhat universal for lots of different valves. Um, but the main thing that we're gonna replace today is the solenoid. So this is the housing, and this is a plunger. There's a little spring that goes in it. And the way these work is this spring goes in here, and this moves up and down. And so when your coil sits over the top of this and is energized, it creates an electromagnet making this thing pop up. And so these can wear out, and so that's why they need to get replaced. So to remove it, you'll see right on the top here, there's just three screws with a Phillips head that we're going to remove. Uh, there's a little washer on here. I'm going to make sure we remove that and save that. And so simply remove these three screws. Once we have the screws removed, we're going to pull this up. There's the plunger and the spring that we're going to replace. And there's this little aluminum housing piece that goes over the housing. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is there's an O-ring in the side. And we need to replace that O-ring just to make sure that we have good seals. So just the tip of your screwdriver should be able to pop that out without too much trouble and remove the old O-ring. So we're going to start by taking the new O-ring and just simply pushing it in. And now we want to take our... Uh, plunger assembly. We want to make sure that the spring is in, installed right, the rubber side is down, and that it's moving freely. And we're just going to set that right on top. And then we take our aluminum housing. Um, with these kits, there is another little O-ring right at the base of the plunger. You want to make sure that that's not in the kit and that's actually been installed on the post. So you see, so we put this on, we take our housing, we put it right back on. It doesn't really matter what direction you put it and we're going to tighten down the screws. We're gonna make sure those are screwed down nice and tight so that the O-rings are compressed and it seals it, makes it airtight. And now we're ready to put the coil back on. A couple notes on this. Um, a lot of these coils have what they call a wave washer that goes on below the coil. This particular wave washer, if you're able to see this, it. it it's wavy, it flexes up and down. And what that does is acts as a little mini spring. So when you put that on and you put the coil, you can kind of compress the coil down so that when you put the clip on, it keeps the whole thing nice and tight. This particular one came with this little washer that goes on the top and a clip. You simply push that on and you've completed the repair kit. Now you can turn on your power, turn on your compressed air and make sure that it's working correctly.